I, I don't understand your answer. Is your answer yes or no? Is there a federalism problem with that, or isn't there a federalism? I, I, th I think the federal government could extend benefits to gay couples to equalize things on a programmatic basis to make things more equal. Whether the federal government could have its own definition of marriage, I think would be there's a it would be very closely argued whether that's outside the enumerated. Program. Well, it's just all these statutes use the term marriage, and the federal government says in all of these statutes when it says marriage, it includes same-sex uh, couples, whether the state acknowledges them to be married or not. But that, I don't know if that would work because they wouldn't be. Never mind but whether it would work. I don't care if it works. It, it, does it? <laughs> Does it, does it create a federalism the, problem? The power to marry people is a power that rests with the states. The federal yes. government doesn't issue marriage licenses. No, has. it's not doing that. It's just saying for purposes, just what it's doing here. It says for purposes of all these federal statutes, when we say marriage, we mean, instead of saying we mean uh, heterosexual marriage, we mean, whenever we use it, heterosexual and homosexual marriage. If that's what it says. As long as the people can were, it do that? As long as people were validly married under state law and met the requirements of state law to get no, married. No, 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 no. It, 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 I'm not sure that the federal government, if this answers your question, Justice Scalia, I'm not sure yeah. that the federal government could create a new federal marriage that would be some kind of marriage that states don't permit. Well, let me get to the question I asked Mr. Clement. It just gets rid of the, the, the word marriage, takes it out of the U.S. Code completely, substitutes something else, and defines it as same sex to include same sex couples. Yes. Surely it can do that. Yes, that would not be based on the state. So it's just the word marriage? It's just the fact that they use this term marriage? Well that's what the federal government has always chosen to do and that's the way the federal law is structured and it's always been structured for 200 years based on the state police power to define who's married. The federal government I presume, could decide to change that if it wanted and somehow it's very strange for all 1100 laws but for certain programs they have different requirements other than marriage and that would be constitutional or unconstitutional, depending on the distinctions. If the estate tax follows state law, would not that create an equal protection problem similar to the one that exists here?